Welcome back to The Sims 4 Cottage Living Rags to Riches. Today is going to be fun because I would like to... I, I think I said last time I wanted to expand the greenhouse. We didn't do it. Uh, I would like to do that today. And I also want to try do some animal shed experiments, which is short for animal shed experiments, if that wasn't super obvious. So basically, I would like to... I think it's time that we maybe upgrade the animal shed experience that these guys have. I think we might need to actually wait for another harvest because I don't actually have that much money. Oh, you know what we should do? How are those cowberries going? Aren't they going to be growing soon? I think we will actually get a harvest of that soon. Then we should make a bunch of treats and then just sell those. Yeah, all right. So actually, and today, because uh, we played Dream Home Decorator last time, we actually have the chicken fair today. So actually, what is my best golden chicken? Because that's probably... Oh, Delegracy! Yeah! Okay, let's call out <laughs> actions. Like, can I just put it in inventory? Put in inventory. Let's go get Delegracy. Hey, Kim. Bye, Kim. Oh, actually, did I need to give Kim something? Or did I not? What, what do I have? I've got a few of these things to do. Oh, I got, oh, I got to scold you. That's what I have to do. So whilst I'm here, scold on Agnes's behalf. Okay, so I've got Delegracy with me. That's good. Uh-oh. <laughs> he gets stung by the bees. They're over there. And uh, they came all the way. Okay, scolding her. That's good. I'm going to get you to uh, put a beekeeper suit on and then also go apply mite treatment. And uh, yeah, let's just try to do that. <laughs> Yikes, you're almost as scary as that grumpy old crumble bottom. I'm still not entirely sure what I did wrong. Well, you didn't give me a discount multiple times. And by, well, I guess, well, you didn't give me more money. That, that's my, mostly the issue. Bring some milk to Agnes Crumplebottom. Okay, well, we can probably do that tonight. So let me just grab some milk out. Make sure this is actually still good. It is. We'll do that. What else do we have? Get the gossip. Well, I, what is this? I should probably should read what this is. Find some sims around the village during the day who seem to be gossiping about other sims and successfully eavesdrop on gossip. Okay, so we probably can do that in the town. Harvest homegrown raspberry bush. Oh, that's a classic. Which, let's just see if we have any harvestable right now. Oh, no, that's flowers. Raspberries bushes are over this side. Currently not half harvestable. That's kind of annoying. All right, well. Actually, what about any of these? Are these good? Any crops available? Oh, actually, you are. Although, I'd say harvest all crops, although I think that might be the only one. Oh, maybe this one, actually. Nope, that's still not harvestable. Oh, I can harvest all these. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> and those. Okay, so I've actually got a decent sale here. It's actually pretty good. Okay, so the Fintrick Fair is on, so let's go to the fair. Uh, you can. <laughs> you don't need to wear a beekeeper suit anymore, but whatever. Alrighty, so... Oh, wait. Oh, I, always, I really should be checking what the other... Th oh, eggs. Do I have any eggs on me? Dang it. I really got to become more prepared for these things. All right, let's go submit my entry. I might actually have time. If I go back home, we might have eggs. Actually, before I go home... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go... Oh, wait, no, no. No, no. What I actually have to do is say haggle, because then I might get 25% profit. Heck yeah. Look at this 25% profit on the sales. Here we go. 264 for the medium watermelons. 233 for the mushrooms. Dang. Small pumpkins, not so great. That's okay. And small watermelons, 72 each. Not the best, but we do have 20 of them. So there is that. Sweet. I mean, that's three grand, so that's fine. All right, I'm going to pop home. I am going to hopefully grab some eggs. Oh, yes, collect eggs. Okay, go collect eggs from there. One golden egg. It's normal quality, though. Actually, what about over here? Collect eggs. I also need to clean this coop. All right, well, I'm going to get back to the fair pretty quick because I don't want it to end. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. It went invisible. Fantastic. Oh, and this chicken is... Okay, what? Hello? Chaz? And we've gotten one special egg. Okay, great. I'll get the bike back and let's just travel because I think I'll become visible again. Now, obviously that coop is not cleaned. We'll have to do that when we get back. All right, here we go. Now let's say submit entry. We're going to put our... Wait, actually, what is this? Oh, they're both normal. Well, what's worth more? 150 versus two. Okay, we'll do the golden egg. We'll go golden egg there and we'll do delegacy over here and place, place. Okay, it didn't work. And Chaz is already feeling inspired from... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, wait, oh, is there... An... Maybe there's an NPC going to this one or something. Yeah! Socialize. Show a dance move. Look, it's like even making it like a, a sparkle sound. Hey. Pretty special. Like if this doesn't win. Yeah! yeah oh, hey, what's up? So. Did I have to give you something? I don't remember. Attempt to bribe. No, I'm not going to bribe you. Uh, now, who's gossiping? Is anyone gossiping around here? That's not what Agnes Crumplebottom should be wearing. Also, didn't I have to give you milk? How do I do that? <laughs> Oh, here we go. Deliver milk. Here you go, Agnes. Here's your milk. What was I doing this for again? Another useless Taurus. I don't think she... Does she even give me an upgrade part for this? I think... I don't... I don't think so. <laughs> I got a pumpkin cross stitch pattern. Hmm, a satisfactory outcome. Yes, it turns out you weren't a complete waste of my time. I'm sure I can put your idol hands a good use in the future. All right, well, let's see what else you have. You might have... I'm just hoping if we do a few of these, we get sort of through the errands and maybe get some other ones. 300, a cross stitch, a cow plant, berry... 
There you go, that could be useful. And fertilizer to increase the size. Well, I'll do that because the cow plant berry is also pretty good. Harvest a homegrown pumpkin. Oh man, I just did that. <laughs> Deliver a cross stitch. Deliver a jar of mayonnaise. How do I even, how do I do that? To make homemade mayonnaise. Oh, you can make mayonnaise. I remember I was asking this last time. Level three and an egg. Oh, then you can the eggs. Right, that makes sense. Uh, okay, that's actually, that's actually really helpful. All right, who is, is anyone gossiping around here? Buy some items. We should probably check for special items. Oh my gosh, we really have to like, hurry up. Oh my God, the frame rate, the frame rate. No, 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 check. Uh, okay, oh, you don't have any, no. It's the other one, it's the other one has special items. Quick, go. Oh, I've got four minutes. Go, now, run. Uh-oh, it's seven. I mean, they're closing. But hopefully, because I've already queued up the action, we make, did we make it? No! <laughs> Why did it cancel? He went all the way over here. No! What? Come on! There's still, I can still sell, but I can't buy? Ah, uh, really? I missed it. Come on. <laughs> ah, you're the worst. I hate you. All right, who's gossiping over here? It looks like one of you's gossiping. Ah, here we go. Eavesdrop, eavesdrop. Get the got. Who is this for? I don't know. Let's listen. Mmm, okay. <laughs> yeah, real subtle. Just standing back there. Chaz wasn't able to overhear any secrets at all. Maybe he'd share if they got to know each other about it. What? Look, we'll do the tried and true method here. <laughs> okay, the tried and true, never failing, take photo of. Okay, can, can you hurry up and take the photo of him, please? And now we do it once more. And we should be best of friends. I mean, look at our relationship already. It's pretty good. Hey man, do you mind if I take more photos of you? Because I just really admire you so much. Ah, here we go. Now we'll be best friends forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> Did it work? Oh yeah, look, now we're friends. Okay. So now I have to ask for the juicy gossip. Okay, report juicy gossip to the mayor. Oh, it's the mayor. Oh my God, the frame rate. Oh my God. Okay, let me just hit save. Okay, that didn't help. Report juicy gossip. All right, let's go. Hey! Ah, oh, I unlocked the chocolate pie cross stitch pattern. Yeah! And I discovered fire milk. Oh, I did, oh no, there we go. Okay, I didn't actually get it. Oh, they gave me a bird of paradise? Dang! And so I got the fire milk and I've got a bunch of photos. I got aubergine parmesan from uh, Kim. All right, how are we going? So what, what are the other entries here, by the way? We've got brown rooster who's fine. Attention's okay. We have a delegacy who's a young adult, happy, clean, full, content. Not, but only a normal egg. Shouldn't we have a golden egg from you in the morning? What the heck? And then what about the eggs? We have one egg normal. I mean, my egg is technically normal as well. Oh, look at this smooth frame rate. But it's also golden. So I don't know. Wait, the fair will end at wait. The fair's end at eleven thirty p.m. Now I thought they end. I thought they were supposed to end at like nine thirty, and then they they say they end at nine thirty. Says it ends at ten. Yeah, look. Why is it ending so late? It literally says it ends at nine thirty. And then it hits 9.30 and it usually says, oh, it ends in an hour. But now apparently it ends in an hour after 10.30. So I don't know what is happening with this fair. Who is organizing this fair? It's awful. Why is it running so late? Why is Agnes not in her regular clothes either? Okay, so there goes all that stuff. What happened? Um, okay, well, first of all, can't help but notice the Delegacy is not in my inventory, which is a little concerning. Um, but competition fair results. Congratulations, your chicken won first place. Yeah! Okay, hopefully it's in the household inventory. Be sure to prepare for next week's garden fair. Okay, well, what about my egg? Hello? Did you, did you just ignore the egg that I submitted? I feel like you just... Okay, thanks, fair. Oh my god, the frame rate is still really bad here too. Okay, so this frame rate is just not fixing itself, I guess. <laughs> I take it like we're stuck like this now. Let me just check my household inventory. Okay, oh, I got the golden egg in here too. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, I guess, there. And then I'll put the legacy here. And I'll drag the egg to the... Oop, drag the egg to the fridge. And now I'm gonna restart the game because this frame rate is terrible. Okie dokie. So let's jump into build mode because we got a little bit of money here. I actually want to go to make this greenhouse bigger because it's. I wanted to do this last time, but quite frankly, I totally forgot about it. So what I want to do, probably want to make it wider, I think as well, at least two tiles wider so that we can fit another, you know, window in there. There we go, one this way. That was easy. I'm just gonna have to move some more of this stuff out of the way a little bit. Actually, will this just move for me? Yeah, move some of it for me. Okay, cool. We're gonna do that. That means we can move all this stuff a little bit further along, which is great. Ah. Oh, okay, this is gonna be rough. Ah. Oh, oh, wait, no, I know why. Blast. <laughs> also, I don't know why I said blast, but it's because it's not covered by a roof. Oh, also, yeah, these windows won't work uh, properly, will they now? Because it was perfectly... Oh, you know what we could do? Wait, if I undo, will those plants come back? Oh man. Okay, well, I've killed those plants by accident. I was thinking what we could do is instead of uh, making this bigger, just do two of these, like two archways. Thankfully, these windows are only 30 simoleons each. Otherwise, I'd be spending a lot of money right now. Uh, <laughs> losing a lot. 
So what I'd like to do is actually have this section of the greenhouse like join to this one through like a little hallway maybe. And then we'll just get the roof over here as well. This section just won't have a glass roof. I think it'll just be like a little thing like that. And then we're gonna get these windows up here as well. And then probably ideally I'd want another like would have three of these probably. Cause then we could do like flowers in one, you know, fruits and veggies in another. And then like the trees in another one, you know. I don't know, something like that. Okay, so now we've got, what do we have here? We've got the, actually all the flowers in here, right? So if I move this little flower planter over here, we have mushrooms as well there, don't we? What's this one? Tomato, grapevines, onions. Well, we only have one flower thing at the moment. Okay, maybe that was not the best one to move. But yeah, now we've got a little bit more room, which is great. So maybe what I'll do is I'll move the trees. Um, all right, well, that leaves more room for more stuff. As, as we get more things to plant, we can sort of organize that a bit more. But now we have a bit more space in there, which is great. And then ideally, I would like to, again, probably add a third section to it. And now I would also like to try to do some animal shed experiments here. So what you can do, because I saw a few posts, is we could... I guess I didn't need to move those. I got to move up to something. You can do this, and that should work fine. Move this stuff out of the way. The other thing you can do is put a put some walls around this and that will also work and you can put a door on there and your sim can actually walk through no problem. Now scaling down is kind of a tricky one because um, I know from my video where I <laughs> did the 100 llama challenge scaling down to this size my sim cannot go in the building and they cannot um, maintain it. If they can't do animal feed or anything so I, don't, I wonder if they can go in like one this big or if it's immediately cancelled because it's too small. So what I would like to do is slightly dirty right now. Oops. Slightly dirty right now. If you just go here real quick. Good thing my robot's out here cleaning up. No, he really has to go to the toilet. Can you clean this shed? Ooh, okay. So we can still go in a shed that is one size smaller, which means it's easier to hide inside of room, which is actually really good news. So you go use that toilet afterwards because you're really busting. That's actually fantastic news because basically what I want to do is just hide this in my own building, you know? So then we'd go like this. We'd scale down cow leans as well. Now, I guess, hang on. I should take note of... Because even though we scale it down, they will still walk in the same sort of like space. So maybe what I'll do first is I'll, I'm going to put these together. Do I want them to overlap? I guess I, they will overlap. That's fine. I'm going to move these back a little bit. I reckon back to here might be good. So if we have them overlapping here, let me just get some fence to mark the uh, where we're actually going here. This sh That should be the limits of where the animals will actually roam. In theory. Who knows if that will actually work. All I got to do to make sure this works is put a wall around it. That's the easy bit. And then leave enough room at the front to fit a door, which I think probably just the one tile should hopefully work. Now again, this is all animal shed experiments. Emphasis on the experiments because this may not work. We can make this look way better. Like we could do like a really nice cottagey thatched one or something as well. But let's just test this. Now as for the doors for the animals, <laughs> I can do a shipping container door. Um, I, it's really kind of just what would look good. Maybe like even just this. Again, this is all just an experiment to see if this even works. If this doesn't work, obviously then we'll just get rid of it all. But now the theory goes... Okay, weren't you supposed to go to the toilet? Or did you just not make it? <laughs> yeah, you go to the toilet. There you go. Theory goes, can I... Okay, I can access... Well, I don't... I can have an interaction on the shed, which needs to clean it. So it looks like, first of all, if we put the walls up, he will open the door and <laughs> like it's a tiny door. Look, we need to not look at the door. The idea of this is that it's all covered up. Okay, so he does still go in and he's able to clean it, which is fantastic. And uh, you can also see the animal's butts working out. But the idea is it's, it's supposed to look like this. And then we could even, you know, decorate it more, make it bigger, make it look... We could even have maybe this bit like undercover or something. I don't know. Like there's a lot we could do with it. This is just the, the experiment. This is the animal shed experiment. So that appears to work so far. Sometimes though, the animals can get a little confused or stuck. So we'll, we'll leave it like this for a while before we invest more time and effort into it. But this is a promising start. We'll just see how that goes. We'll keep an eye on that. Okie dokie. Off you go to bed. You're sleeping away. That's great. We have, I believe, a new wild rabbit down here, which is fantastic. So we'll have to make a new friend with that one. We also got to do some more uh, planting. I guess, what what, we, what was this one? We need, no, uh, purchase. We need, the heck was that? What was it? Oh, watermelon. And I already have one more mushroom, which is great. It's great. So I can plant that mushroom seed there. Oh, you, you're just getting up now? Okay, I thought you'd just keep sleeping. But I guess, sure. <laughs> and actually, while you're out here, <laughs> do you want to go claim the coop over here as well? All right, so I got some super vitality fertilizer, so I might as well use it on the newly planted uh, crop there. Now, there is a new bunny over here, so I'm going to say, I'm going to give you a flower. I'm going to give you a bird of paradise. It's worth 50 bucks. So hopefully you like this. Here you go. Little birds of paradise. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, is this what is this robot doing? Has it ever gone back to charge? It's just like going around the entire lot. Hey, the heck, dude? And there goes the robot again. Yeah. Oh, it's summertime. Let's go. Hey, it's leaving me. Man, okay, it's actually kind of hard to become friends with a rabbit if it doesn't like you. How are these going? I think they're okay. All right, let's um plant oversized crop. We've got a bunch of watermelons to plant. Oh, I just did mushrooms by mistake. So all of this down here is going to be the watermelons. What was that? Why was there a dung dung dung? Hello? Dung dung dung? Oh, here we go. <gasps> Lenny? What? What do you mean inadequate? Qu you haven't come out of your shed. Are you, are you stuck in my animal shed experiment? Well, come out of here. Hang on, go here. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, well, let me go clean this. Where are you? What is taking you 10,000 years ago? Oh, why are you riding a bike in the house? Okay, you didn't finish planting the watermelons. <laughs> I'm gonna need to go do that first. And then you have to water all. Okay, you go clean Lenny's shed. Now, I think the problem is I actually can't, yeah, I can't seem to call him out. I think it's to do potentially with him being on the other side of the room. Let's try that. Okay, you can't do it. So maybe, I'm wondering if we have to be inside to call him out. Let's see. Hmm, I still can't seem to do it. Hmm, Lenny, I'm not sure what that issue is then. <gasps> Wait, <gasps> we have cowberry. 500 bucks for the berry itself. Dang, that is good. Okay, I'm actually really pleased with that. All right, so it didn't seem to be the door issue. Um, can I call Katrina over? See, no, I can't, which is interesting, but I can still get in there. And they definitely came out of the sheds. What about if we just do, okay, get rid of the doors. What if we did something like this? Because then we could, we could still work with this. We could still, oh, I'd have to make the building a bit bigger. That's okay, we could still work with this because then we could just make this probably a darker color. And then add decorations around it. If this work, that is, we could work with this. So let's see, does this fix it? Like if I now say, call Lenny over. Oh, come on. Is it the size? Because I can see Lenny's butt. Like I can see, he, I know he's there, he's right there. Can I, what about now? Is it, is it the room or is it the su snout shire? What the heck? No, I'm not trying to name it, call Lenny over. Okay, I think, okay, it's definitely something to do with the room. All right. Yeah, Lenny, apparently you were complaining, so I'm just clean you and do all that stuff. Anyway, so you work on that. Trenton is eating. Uh, presumably he's actually done the gardening this time, which is good. Uh, we have some weeds over here. Do need to go befriend some rabbits. Well, let me go harvest that cow plant berry before I forget. So let's go harvest harvestables. The nice flower on the floor there, presumably from the flower bunny. Oh, let me... Oh, wait, is this the one that's helping me? Oh, evil chicken! It, so this one... Yeah, so this one here is friends with Chaz, and this rabbit's helping me. Okay. And then we have this rabbit here, we don't know. And there's also... Oh, I don't know where the other one just went. It was here. There was another one. Where are those carrots? Harvest carrots. Okay, so wait. Who can make the cow plant thing? So if we now say canning... So to make cowberry jam... Oh, you're not a high enough skill. What did we... We needed cowberry and what? Oh, golden egg or something, didn't we? Do you want to go harvest, uh, collect eggs and maybe clean the coop or something? Hey, rabbit. I'm going to gift you produce, carrot, perfect or perfect. I guess I'll give you a perfect one. Oh, Hazel's want everyone to go to her house and hang out. Dang. Um, I do. I really do. But I'm kind of busy. It does seem rude to turn that down, especially we are trying to get my sims together. Um, okay, so the, the animal shed experiments are still a work in progress, so we're just going to keep that in mind. Kowleen. Okay, so I've got this one egg here. I'll put this in the fridge. So my, okay, so something we should pay attention to here. So these eggs are worth between... Oh, okay, 200, 200, 200. 200. I think they can be worth less if they're not as good, or the quality can be higher if they are better. Which, by the way, we should probably work on becoming friends with the chickens so that we have higher quality uh, ones as well. We also have the obsidian egg, which is worth 150. Now, Chaz, probably, we should probably have something to eat. So I'm going to say grab a serving of the pie as well once you're done there. Now, you, my friend, can socialize, ask how this rabbit's going. Uh, we really need more rabbits help with the weeding here because I'm, I'm not quite sure if this, this chicken is helping me or hurting me because it's hanging out by all the crops here. Oh, are these done? Oh, these are done. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, well, let me go. I'm going to harvest all crops real quick. So you do that. You're having some pie. Wow, you stink, dude. Oh, and the lettuce is done too, or some of it. Okay, so we've got three pumpkins. So I actually need to plant four. What do I have? I've got some mushrooms. Okay, so I'll go here and plant mushroom. I think three lettuce. I'm not really sure what the, the, <laughs> the harvesting schedule in this place is anymore. So these, 
Look at that. That rabbit, this is the only rabbit currently helping me. I really need them to help me some more. Let me ask you about the Bramblewood real quick and pet wild rabbit and uh, tell a joke about some hip hop. There you go. Hey, Patchy. Okay, so Patchy's taking care of those plants, which is good. Hey, Patchy. Oh, well, Patchy's doing some gardening for me right now anyway, so probably fine. All right, well, let me plant the, uh, nope, plant the lettuce. All right, Chaz, how are you going over here? You're having a bath. Okay, wait, what happened to the food? What are you supposed to be eating? Oh, are you eating the pie? What the heck did you take that to the bath with you? Well, I mean, I guess, no, I totally understand that. That's actually, you know, that makes sense. Now, where's that chest? Yeah, I put it outside, didn't I? Oh, that thing's broken again. Because in here, don't we have... Yeah, we've got some llama wool, which I... Oh, no! Dang it! Lenny's getting on in the years as well. Oh, Lenny. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, these things happen. All right, so canning. We should now be able to make some more cowberry jam. Mm -mm. So we can make one, which we can do one, which should make three, right? My question. Okay, see ya. What the heck, dude? Oh, is he gonna go sniff something? I oh, know, he put his plate down. Okay, you, Trenton, what happened over here? Did you finish? No. We gotta do all this as well. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep planting, dude. This stuff doesn't plant itself. And one more, because I ran out. Okay, and then I'm gonna give these. Well, actually, I'll put them in the fruit. I guess we, should, wow, we, do, we do need to keep some of these things, because we actually need to cook stuff at some point. <laughs> like, we do need to actually cook stuff. That's something I'm really bad at, is keeping stuff around to cook with. Ah, oh, thanks, Patchy. Heck yeah. So you're helping with gardening. Okay, that's all good. Oh, these are actually ready to be harvested as well. Which is a shame, because they're quite small. I guess I'm not really, at the moment, doing very well on the fertilization front. So maybe I need to focus a little bit more on that. All right, well, Trenton, you can go to sleep. That's all right. You've done, you've done good. You've done good. How's this canning going over here? All right, so my question is now. Okay, so one cowberry was 500. One golden egg was 200. So that's 700 in itself, right? So how much are these each worth? We've got two in here, which are excellent quality. See, they're only worth 204, which... Okay, so that's 609. So we've already made a loss, really, because the cowberry is 500. So we've 100% made a loss on that because we would have sold it all for 700, if not more, because of the markup. So we've lost about 100 simoleons at least. <laughs> Interesting. Now, if I combine that with... So what do I have to do to make the animal trade again? Okay, so for the... Midnight treat. Oh, we just need more obsidian eggs, okay. So I'm wondering how much that costs. I think that was like 400. But again, I don't think that that's going to be a benefit. The golden treat, we can make four of those. I mean, this doesn't, I don't think a golden treat makes sense to make with cowberry jam because you might as well just use honey, which is super cheap. We just get it from the bees out back. So I don't know. Let's make one midnight treat. So that, okay. So this midnight treat should be worth at least, I think it's like gonna be 400, right? The obsidian egg was like 150. So I don't know, what, what is this worth? 435? I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. I don't think it's worth selling. So wait, how's Lenny doing by the way? He's an elder happy clean, so he's not on one last pet yet. Now also, where's Callane? Cause I think Callane, oh no, Callane's dead. Oh God. <laughs> it's Caltrina. Now, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, I don't think they can come out either. So, okay, this animal shed experiment, still a work in progress. I think probably what it needs to be, I'm guessing if, okay, if I remove, move this floor, all right, what if I do this? And then I actually just remove this wall. So now it's open. It's actually kind of outside. And then what we'd have to do is just probably put a, some debug item or something above it, potentially. I'm wondering, does this work? Okay, interaction hasn't canceled. So I think, yeah, okay. So it's definitely when you have a wall, or a door seem to also prevent them coming out. They do still come out, but I think the problem is you can't like call them out when you want or send them back in when you want. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Now, Lenny, we might have to send you off. Okay, so this is this trade is worth 435. It is definitely not worth giving this to one of these animals unless we wanted like a black wool or something. Because it would get us what, one black wool? Yeah, I'll give you I'll give Lenny a midnight trade. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, let me clean Lenny and then also she and Lenny's wool. So let's see. Okay, I got one black wool worth 300. <laughs> okay, we made an utter and complete loss on uh, Cowberry there. <laughs> that is definitely not worth Unless you want it, I guess. It's not really worth it. I don't think it's a good money making scheme. Hello? Myra? What are you doing here? Okay, right, let's go to the toilet. Oh, that's broken. Okay, you repair that and then you can use it. All right, so you're up there. This is all planted. Um, we did expand the greenhouse, which I'm quite happy with. We do have cowberries growing now, which is good, because I think that should actually mean we start getting like one cowberry or so a day. Hello, Hazel. Hey, Trenton. It's Hazel. Do you want to hang out tonight? Oh, <laughs> yes. Let's, where are we going? Where are we going? 
you know what? I'm not in the middle of something right now, so we might as well go see what Hazel's up to. Which big wallet will Hazel date? It looks like it's gonna be Trenton, because I'm not really doing anything, and she keeps inviting me out. Also, she is taking me to a romantic private hidden lot all the way out in Windenburg. That's right, Hazel has chosen Trenton Big Wallet. We came through a weird tunnel and here we are. <laughs> Let's uh, partying with club friends. Hmm, okay. Really, is, is that what it is, Hazel? Is that what it is? Cause I mean, I don't wanna be that guy, but looking at this club, we're the only ones in it. So also, wait, is it, is it, it was Chaz? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. Hazel is invited one of, you know, Chaz and Trenton to individual clubs with only them two in it. They're both in separate clubs. It's so dumb. Well, seeing as we're here, we might as well go for a dip. Uh, skinny dip. Why not? Dang! Here we go! Yeah! Well, I mean, I guess Trenton, are you, are you joining? No, he's busy cycling. Okay. I mean, we might as well. You know what? You know what? Chaz, do you want to come crash this party? <laughs> Jump into pool. <laughs> Come and do a cannonball. They're like on some like nice day, you know, they're skinny dipping in a private like hot springs kind of area on this island. And Chaz is like, hey guys. Oh wait, that was, oh, that was Trenton. Okay, well, you know, I messed that up. That's my bad. Cannonball! I wanted, I wanted Chaz to do that. It's to be really awkward. Oh, hey guys, fancy seeing you here. Whoa! Hang on, swim here. <laughs> Just swim in the middle of them. Come on, hurry. Oh, why are you skinny dipping as well, by the way, Chaz? Oh no, now he's not. Oh, now, okay. The comedic timing is ruined, Chaz. You're supposed to swim. Okay, that's, I think you're kind of actually invading privacy at this point. You know what, maybe you should go home. Sim cannot go home right now. Oh, I can't send Chaz home. Like, sorry guys, I can't leave. I'm, I'm here now. I mean, I guess it's just kind of awkward. Hazel's just there. Chaz is there. Trenton's in the bush. Okay, we're just gonna have a chat. Oh, yeah, he's like, what are you doing here, dude? Why did you come here, you idiot? And he's like, yeah, no, that's a fair call. I'm, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. <laughs> Well, ooh, what's this? Bluebell. Ooh, what's this? Mushroom. Oh, that's what we, we need to get mushrooms. That's right. Well, Chaz, uh, why don't you go light a, go light a bonfire? Maybe just leave those guys alone. You weren't really invited here. Man, Hazel is not shy, uh, at all. <laughs> Trenton's very happy, as you can see by the green glow. How's this bonfire going? Oh, yeah! Break it down, dude! Which big wallet will Hazel date? Will it be Chaz with his awesome dance moves and bonfire abilities? Or will it be Trenton, who glows green and swims in algae? Uh, and awkwardly just stares- Oh, no, it will not be Trenton today! She did not like that reaction one bit. <laughs> okay. All right, come on. Are, we, are we done here now? Chaz, <laughs> what are you guys doing? It's so awkward. Oh, okay, she's going back into the swimsuit and the meeting's over. And I guess that's it. Well, you know, we built a little bit of relationship, I think, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I don't make these things happen. They just happen, okay? I just go with the flow. My Sims want to meet up. Who am I to say no? I mean, did I bring Chaz manually? Maybe. Would he have come anyway? Who's to say, really? <laughs> All right, let's, um, who's in a terrible mood? You're actually in a pretty good mood, Chaz. So I'm gonna get you to go weed all. What's wrong with you? Overheating. I guess you're next to the bonfire, so that makes sense. All right, Trenton, will you go to sleep? I'm gonna get ha uh, has. <laughs> I'm gonna get Chaz to do some gardening for once. What is this rabbit doing? Socialize, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll use my magical animal abilities to make you like me so we can get the help with gardening. Oh, the rabbit gave me an orange egg, sweet. Uh, can I give you anything? I don't think so. I think it's been too soon because Trenton gave him a gift. Discuss oh, rabbity yeah. things, socialize. Let's, uh, oh. Everyone's like dancing in moderation. Chaz can try again later. <laughs> oh, dude, that rabbit's like, I don't, why are you dancing? It's annoying. Dude, why won't you just help me with the gardening? Why is it so hard to become friends with these things? Oh, here we go, finally. Hey, do you want to help me with gardening, please? And now I'll never talk to you again. Thanks, man. Oh, whoops, I left that milk in my inventory. Yeah, probably. I should probably pay attention to stuff in my inventory. So I've got two cowberry jam in here still. I'll put them in the fridge. Uh, they don't go off, but I'm not really sure what to do with it. Okay, it just got really dark all of a sudden. Uh, oh, I should have done harvest all crops. So we've got three more lettuce, I think, maybe? Oh, and some aubergine. All right, so plant oversized crop, lettuce here, and aubergine over here. Oh, I'm going to say water all. I guess I don't need to do that, but I mean, I just planted them, so I feel like I should. Fertilize, I've got some super vitality, so we might as well use it. Maybe we're gonna actually get some big plants for once. All right, we might need to trade poor old Lenny away, but you know, just how it is. How are these bees going? Let me let me see if I can bond with the bees at 3 a.m. Hey guys, it's me, Chaz. Oh, golden egg is hatched, yeah! Okay, the bees seem okay. 
Okay. The bees are calm, actually, so that is good. I'll collect some bees waxes. Okay, or not. Collect honey? Wait, there's still honey? I thought I just collected it. Uh-oh. Well, they didn't like that. <laughs> okay. All right, so we now officially have eight out of eight chickens in there. We're just kind of waiting for them all to grow up. But evil chickens. Oh, I always go invisible when I come to this island. I think, I don't know what it is. There's something either about this bridge or the pond. Something always makes me, like, it, it, this is where it happens. It's always over here on this island. What is this? Why? What? What is that? Old Yorkified Classic 16. Made by Patch. What the heck, Patchy? Snapdragon flower? What the heck is this planted here for? Uproot that, place. Why is that here? And why is Patchy leaving glasses here? Also, where did Chaz go? Empty trash. Oh, he's over here somewhere. Okay. We can't see him because he's invisible. Okay, if I just keep right-clicking, we'll follow him. Maybe. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, there he is. He's over here somewhere. He's doing stuff. He's oh, Look, he's getting things. So, uh, those in the fridge. Wait, hang on. Did we just get a hatchable? Oh, we have two hatchable obsidian eggs. Dang! All right, we're definitely hatching these. We're getting an, an evil chicken army over here. Heck yeah! All right, Chaz, uh, do you clean out that glass now? Okay, no, now he's gonna go to the other bin. All right, Chaz, just go to sleep. Maybe you'll reappear. How are those bills going for me, by the way? How's, how's our income? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Minus 10,000. Tax break penalties. Additional taxes. What are, why do I have additional taxes? I? Okay, so a lot, we already spent a lot of water, a lot of, a lot of value. Not, not much on power. It's definitely the electric, the, the water that's doing us in. And whatever this is. Build surcharge items on lot. Build discount items on lot. Oh, that's what I want to do. Oh, you have no points. Do you have any points? You've only got 200. Uh, getting the frugal, the frugal trait. <laughs> that's what I always forget about too. Hmm. I should probably sort out this bills issue sooner rather than later, hey. Because we're going to keep getting these giant bills. Look, most of it's the water from all these sprinklers, which makes sense. So maybe we just need an army of these guys. Okay, well, what I'm going to do... Wait, what time is it? Oh, 7 or 9. I think we're okay. 9 a.m. should is when the thing opens. I'm going to take all my produce that I would like to sell. Even though, again, I should probably be keeping some of these things. But you know what? I'm going to sell them. Make a bunch of money. It's probably worth it. i got to collect some more eggs over there as well before we go. Oh my god, we got so many little chicks here. Kind of crazy, actually. All right, let's go to town and sell all this stuff so we at least have a nice little bank of cash. All right, 7 a.m. So I think they open at 9, is it? So I guess I'll just uh, hang out here. I'll be gross and belch, and then I'll do like a little little fart. Yep, there we go. Mm. I guess I'll go have a nap. I'm not really tired, but oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Haggle. Haggle, give me that, give me that disc. Well, give me that bonus. What the heck? Alright, fine. I'll go, I'll go to the crumple bottom store then. Where they respect farmers like me. Oh, I'm too embarrassed. Oh, that's right. That's too embarrassed. Alright, well, I'm not selling to her anyway. I don't like selling to her when she rejects me. It's just rude. All right, $5,000 just from that little produce that we had. So I think that's pretty good. I call that a win. Okie dokie. So, uh, Trenton, you can come back now. Um, all right, so I think what I, I'm wondering, should we just get more of these? Just try to collect. Oh, they're so expensive. I don't think it collects that much water. I don't, I don't know if it's worth it. Like, how many do we... Okay, question is, how many of these do we need to fulfill just this set of sprinklers you know like look let's do let's do a a do collect experiment we're doing a lot of experiments in this season of rags of riches all right we got a bunch of them down here i'm gonna move this one over here so it's in line now most of these are gonna break so they're gonna be completely useless so we're gonna go reinforce containers oh yeah rebate day heck yeah i finally did it <laughs> most of the time that i always buy a bunch of stuff and then rebate days the next day oh look at this the two brothers Upgrading side by side. Oh, no, 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 you're not done yet. Upgrade the next one. I just don't want these to break. Yeah, yeah, I don't care if you have to pee. You need to upgrade first. So now, at least once these two are upgraded, they're all unbreakable. Oh, it's raining too. So now, I guess I should probably... I'll just say store as well. See, I don't think storing really makes a difference unless we're producing a surplus, because otherwise all it's doing is if you ever get a positive amount, which clearly we do not have, if you get positive, then it will automatically sell it for you. Um, and basically it just reduces your bills. Otherwise you store it, it doesn't sell it, and then you can use it later. So it's kind of like a battery. Uh, I guess I'll select store. I don't think that makes a difference unless we have a surplus, but I'll do it just in case because I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyway, oh, why are my bills so expensive? <laughs> uh, well, I know why they're expensive. It's, well, actually, I don't know what the, I don't know what these items are. 
I'm not sure what this is coming from. I mean, this is from all the water usage. So I know that bit. And then that's just from the value of everything we have, which makes sense because uh, what's our lot value? Our lot value is currently 74, 74, 75,000 plus probably all this junk. You know, I should probably recycle all this. I did say I'd do it off camera, so you won't have to see it. Oh, look at this. They're just hugging. All right, so I just recycled some excess stuff from my, oh, hey, Patchy, uh, from my inventory. So that's all gone now. And we have 23,000 compostables, which is kind of nuts. And only 84 bits and pieces, because uh, we're basically only recycling uh, produce. So we don't get the bits and pieces, which we get from furniture. Anyway, so we've done that. Uh, that's good. Now, I think... Oh, Hazel! Yeah! Oh, she looks so sad. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, so I think... That's good. That's good. I think... Oh, actually, let's check now. So now that we've done that, we've removed all that value from our lot uh, inventory. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now our lot taxes are, like, reduced by about a 1,000. Because we had a lot of that stuff in our inventory just sitting there not doing a lot. So that's reduced the taxes by a lot. The next thing we're going to try and do, I guess, is reduce the water. Hopefully, this makes some kind of impact. I have a feeling that we're going to need, like... A lot of these. <laughs> like a whole thing. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we could try and make it look good. Like if if we end up for trying to do this and actually trying to get enough water. Like how far do these scale? Okay, they scale down like this. Hopefully they still work like this. We've made them. If we make them unbreakable and scale them down, at least we won't need to interact with them. So hopefully they still work like this. Because what I'm thinking, what if we just like dumped them? We, we turn this into like a reservoir, like you would often find on like a farm or something, you know, a natural reservoir. Then we could just hide these underwater. Like we'd have to make it a bit bigger, hide them underwater like this. Maybe even just make them darker because then you can't even see them. If that still works, we could have like a big natural looking reservoir that generates water. And I like that idea. So that could be a nice solution. Assuming that works. I have no idea if that would work or not. And I also have no idea how many of these we would need. But if we get a sizable amount, I think we could potentially make some sort of impact. Maybe not a big impact, but some. But I'm going to leave this part here. So next time we will continue the animal shed experiments as well. Because now that I know it seems like we kind of just can't, you know, block them off by putting them in a room or a wall or something like that. If we just have it open and put some stuff in front of it, I think we can make a really cool looking animal shed. So let me know what kind of style we should go for. I mean, the one that I... Okay, you know what? Why don't I just put the camera where we can actually see it instead of moving. The one, obviously, this is not... This is not designed in really any sense. Um, we'll probably make something that looks a lot better. I, this was, again, purely just for experiments, seeing what actually worked and what we could do. So now that we know how to make it... Or how to ensure that it will work properly without glitching out or getting the animal stuck or anything, uh, we can probably make it look really good. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll potentially get a third animal shed uh not guaranteeing that because we already have a lot of animals going on now but we'll see and i think next episode i might bite the bullet and extend the farm i've really been putting it off because you already see how big our water bills are if we expand the farm to double the size we don't necessarily have to get all the sprinklers we don't have to do that patchy is actually helping us doing the watering and it does rain a lot so we could probably get away not watering that often so we might be able to not have as many sprinklers though if we were to double the size of this farm Add the sprinklers in. Our water bills are going to be double. So I, that's why I was like, I've kind of been putting it off because we should try and get our current water bill under control to some degree. At the same time, if we double the amount of crops we have, we're going to get double the amount of money. We're going to double the amount of profit. So we can make more money so we can buy more water collectors. So I don't know. It's kind of a catch-22. But tune in next time to find out how it all goes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.